Hello, I'm Dave Tedder, the product manager for the Spectrum Z510 and we're on the manufacturing floor for the Spectrum. As you can see, we're currently building, currently building machines, mostly with production parts. There's a few prototype parts that uh, we still haven't gotten production units for. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Spectrum Z510, some of the features that it has and most of its components. As you can see, the styling is very much like the Z Printer 310. Um, from the service and ease of use standpoint, we have uh, easy to access binder bottles under this nice little cover. Um, the clear yellow, magenta, and cyan binder levels will be visible through these cutouts. Uh, the control panel, very much what you're used to seeing on all of our machines. Build up, feed up, spread online. Um, through these cutouts, we'll be able to see the waste bottle and the wash fluid uh, bottle levels. Uh, this is where the wash and waste will be. And over here, we have a nice area for you to store tools that you might use on a frequent basis, like the tamper and scoop or whatever, whatever else you might use for, for doing your gross to powdering. Overflow bucket, very much like the Z Printer 310. When we go under the cover, the first thing you'll notice is that uh, the pistons are, si are, uh, are much larger than our other machines. We have a 14 by 10 inch by 8 inch deep build volume. Uh, you'll also notice that the styling under the hood here, especially with the printer module, is very much like the Z Printer 310 for ease of use, ease of servicing. And that remains true for all of the serviceable components the printer module, the service station, the heater module, and then around back with the e-box. Uh, open up the, the carriage here, and you'll notice that the four print heads are not staggered. This gives us a tremendously faster build time when we print in color. Over here on the service station, this is a much different style of service station than you've seen from us in the past. Uh, we actively pulse the bottom of the print heads with the wash fluid. Uh, we wipe off any drips, ensuring never to make contact with the jets themselves. We have a nice little spittoon area and then our parking cups. So as you can see, we're printing a lot closer to the powder than we ever have before. When we were nominally printing 150 thousandths of an inch from the powder, we're now printing nominally 75 thousandths of an inch from the, from the powder. This is one of the things that the new new styling of servicing allows us to do. We can better clean the print heads without affecting print quality. So as we get a close look at the, the actual printing, you'll notice that the color shell is much thinner than it ever has been before. And this is because we no longer have a need to sand parts, especially color parts, after printing. Our new automated color alignment ensures a perfect print head alignment every time. Notice, also notice how crisp and nice the features are. Okay, here we're printing our auto alignment pattern, where everything is relative to the magenta print head. Once it's done with this layer, we will bounce an, a light from an LED off each of these colors into a sensor and it will optically align the print heads for us. This auto alignment pattern can be preset to a specific number of layers, so it can be a three millimeter thick part to be removed after a build or you can keep it nice and thin and remove it with a vacuum. The last thing the auto alignment pattern will do before it finishes printing is it will print four of the standard bullseyes that we're all used to seeing just to ensure that the print head alignment has been adjusted properly. <laughs> 